Hello everyone and welcome to the class. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up the medical ID features in your iPhone running iOS 8. This is one of those things that everyone out there really needs to take two minutes of their time to set up because this is the kind of feature that could save your life one day. And I want to first show you how medical ID works. Now please excuse in advance all of the information about me that you're going to see is entirely fake and usually when I have to create fake information I have a little bit of a sense of humor. That being said, this is no laughing matter. You really need to take the time to actually do this and know that once this video is over, I'll put my real information in. So the way Medical ID works, I'm going to shut off my phone right now and go to the normal start screen that you'd see right there uh, if you just hit hit the home button. So normally when you're on your phone, to unlock it, you'd either use Touch ID if you have an iPhone 5S or later or you would swipe and put in a passcode here to get into your phone. Well, what happens if one day you have some sort of a medical emergency and you're unconscious or something happens and someone needs to get in touch with your loved ones to let them know the status of where you're at? Well, that's where this little button at the bottom left corner of my phone comes in, where it says emergency. When you tap on that, it switches to a white theme and at the bottom left it now says medical ID. And so that will give me all of the important information about whoever's phone this is, including their birthday, any medical conditions that they have, uh, medical notes, allergies and reactions, medications, contact information for the people that are closest to them, blood type, whether or not they're an organ donor, weight and height very important to do this and part of the reason why is in the past we had always recommended that you have a contact in your phone named ICE and ICE stood for in case of emergency and you'd call that person theoretically uh, at least that's what the EMTs are trained to do but the problem is that now that everyone has a passcode on their phones they can't do that so they had to create another way to make that happen so here's how you program medical ID once you've upgraded your phone to iOS 8 you have the health app which in this case you see at the bottom left corner of my phone and we're gonna go into that now there's several different uh, little uh, icons you'll see at the bottom of the phone. We're on medical ID which is the one furthest to the right and from here you're gonna hit edit and very very important that this first feature here is turned on to show when locked another very good idea which I actually have not done here is to add a photo of yourself that way someone can visually identify uh, you so if you are next to your phone let's say you're unconscious they can identify this phone belongs to this person then you can manually add in your birthday all of those medical conditions etc all that information where it has the spouse, okay, you are actually going to determine the contact when you add the information in. So if it's not spouse, you can change it to father, mother, brother, sister, etc. You can see here the other information they ask you. And that's it. It's really important to take the time to do this again. It's two minutes of your time that could one day save your life. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. I hope you've enjoyed and learned from this video. One really easy way that anyone can support our organization is just to simply click that little like button if you're watching us on YouTube. Leave us a comment in the section below, even if it's something as simple as, hey, this video really helped me. We want to know that kind of information. That's all for now, everyone. Class dismissed.